The witches are back, so watch out, Salem. Yes, the Sanderson system had returned, but if you got lost in the mayhem, here is our Hocus Pocus 2 ending explained. The movie sees the Sanderson sisters return in all their unholy glory. This time, though the convincing coven of Winnie, Mary, and Sarah don't want to drain the life of the children, no, they are after revenge. Specifically, they want revenge on the Tresk family, who banished the sister from Salem in the 70th century. To do so, they plan on conducting the Magicae Maxima ritual which will make the trio the most powerful witches who ever lived and restore them to full life. Will the witches succeed in their scheme? Let's enter into the Hocus Pocus 2 ending exploration. After the Sanderson sisters are brought to life by the mechanician of Gilbert, they immediately attack Becca and Izzy, who summon them with their black flame candle. Thankfully, the girls are able to escape to Gilbert's shop where he confesses he worked to resurrect the witches because he is a huge fan who never believed they were evil. He is quickly proven wrong when the witches arrive and lock up Becca and Izzy in the basement. He united with their sentient magical spell book that Gilbert had in his possession, the sisters decide to perform the magical maxima ritual. The witches need several ingredients for the spell and they enchant Gilbert into collecting the various regions they need. The most important ingredient, however, is the blood of an enemy. With all the witches' enemies long dead, they decide that the ancestor of an enemy will do and conspire to steal the blood of Mayor Tresky, who is related to the minister who first banished them from Salem. While the witches go off to get Tresky's blood, the girl escape the basement and warn their friends Cassie that the witches are back and on the attack. As the witches tear through Salem, we get a lot of magical mayhem, some witchy fun and even a dance number or two as the girls work to keep the clueless mayor from the witches' clutches. Eventually, however, the sisters learn they don't need his blood, they can just take Cassie's. So after Gilbert successfully gathers all the necessary ingredients, including the still living head of Billy the zombie, the sisters begin their spell, taking just a drop of Cassie's blood. However, Becca, who has been shown to have some form of magic throughout the film, realizes she is in fact a witch and attacks the sisters with her spells. As Winnie and Becca battle it out, it becomes clear that Winnie is too powerful for the next experienced teen. And even though they convince Book to betray the Sandersons, the girls find themselves pinned down by the witches. As they read the spell book, Izzy realizes that power is meant to be shared, and the girls form their own coven, allowing them to stave off the Sandersons' attack. Realizing that the Magician Maxima is the only way they can defeat the girls, and the Sandersons decide to complete the ritual and are successful. Also, it seems, unfortunately, the Magica Maxima requires a sacrifice, and Mary and Sarah soon disappear. Not wanting to be alone, Winnie explores Becca and her friends to fix things. Book shows the girls are ritual, and although they can't bring Mary and Sarah back, they can send Winnie to them. So in the end, Winnie willing sacrifice herself, complimenting Becca on the power of her coven. As the girl walks home from their adventure, the raven form of Mother Witch, who taught the Sanderson's magic, follow the girl setting up a Hocus Pocus 3. Now if you wanna know about the updates of Hocus Pocus 3, then check out our latest video about a third movie. And this was a quick explanation of the Hocus Pocus 2 full ending. Press the subscribe button for more cool Disney updates. Stay safe. Peace out.